this going. Well, well. That actually, we uh, you kind of doubled our profits this year, dude. Yeah. Let's yeah. go! I'm yeah. so I'm so happy to help you all the time, you know. You know we we were Some working a bit with Cedar, but we kind of you know expanded a bit. Hey, yeah. love to hear it. I love the smell of freshly chopped cedar in the morning. Well, hey, you know what? If you guys are needing some work done at an event, check out Tempest, by the way. Tempest Production, the absolute goats. They've been running this whole event so far and have been doing an immaculate job. Even made the uh, the transitions themselves, you know, ripped it straight from the, straight off of the game and everything. It looks beautiful. All righty. Spade getting caught up with the grab to forward throw and Charlie D off to a great start. I think this is one of the fun things about high and top level Ness is this character is not a defensive zoner. He is scrapping and dishing out tons of damage. And you know what? Charlie D is showing that right now. Charlie D off to an amazing start. Untouched here as Spade struggles to make it back to stage. Oh, the PK fire to just kind of put up that wall. Back there to catch into the up smash. And Charlie D with the zero to death to start here. We've been seeing a lot of that here at Eugene Bound. But right now, it looks like Dude. Spade was kind of cooking up there. One move away of possibly taking the stocks. Trying to get the down air to need to connect there. Definitely one of the harder, you know, things to do with characters that are of a smaller hurt box. Yeah, I will say, it's been absolutely crazy seeing uh, some of Spade's hits go off. There's been moments where I've been questioning if they're just going to go ahead and get that zero to death themselves. Maybe we still got time to see it, but you know what? Charlie D getting that yo-yo and Spade just having to shake their head. Good patience there for Spade, able to get that jab to connect. Ooh, getting hit there by the PK flash right now. Looking like Charlie D, pretty good spot here. Does get hit by the Falcon dive. Spade. Last stock here, trying to maintain that pressure. Messes up the top and dive, goes for the ledge, gets caught by the PK fire, but able to get the uh, back air there to actually get back to stage. And the parry at the ledge will do it there for the first stock. Can Spade bring this back from such a deficit? That is a good question, but you know what? Either way, I think Spade has the capability. We just haven't seen the full combos that they need to get that come through yet. Gets the Nair, unable to confirm too much off of it, but Raptor boosts turn to dish out 77. That up smash, the Spade special, not quite landing. That could have been big, and Charlie D barely whiffing on the back air to secure out the game. Oh, we see that up smash again. That does remove the, you know, the staling in that instance, at least, to an extent. Yes, sir. Back throw, not quite able to do it. Spade really struggling to find it, but you know what? Right as I say that, still not quite able to do it. This is crazy how long Charlie is able to live. Finally drops the stock for Spade. Okay, but Spade did have to take somewhere around 60 to 70% to get here. You do not have that leeway anymore, but Spade doing a crazy job here, going the up smash, making that shield really small, going for the callouts here, going for the Falcon dive for the high risk, gets thrown off the stage. Spade keeping in this, trying to go for that up smash once again. So, oh, the options here thrown out. Spade trying to get something. Oh my goodness. Making Charlie reel in his seat right now. You've got to be so careful, but the Nair might have been able to get that game. But you know what, Spade shaking their head because they know this ain't it. I almost took you fully back from being down three stocks to one. You better be worried for that game number two. And Charlie, if I was them, I would be. Right. Looking at that battlefield here. Maybe. I wouldn't blame them. Great stage for Falcon overall. And uh, yep, we're gonna be seeing it. Got some good platform conversions that they could go ahead and play off of. But of course, it's not a bad, not a bad stage for Ness either, as you also get to utilize a lot of those platforms to extend some of those up air combos, some of those fair trains. And so I'm curious to see how Charlie utilizes that. But uh, you know what? Oh, thank you, Spade, for picking music. Oh, we didn't need a repeat <laughs> of earlier. You're not a fan of just silence? Personally, no. No. I start thinking more, and in my own thoughts. Very scary sometimes. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Man. I like getting personal with you, I, I, I get that uh, impression. Yeah. yeah. This has been therapy sessions with the Lumberjack. 
me tune in next time <laughs> to see how one of these two copes with the loss and not getting into top eight. <laughs> All right. Right now, you know, back and forth here from both players. You know, the first round, you know, Charlie D was just able to you know, completely wall out Spade. But we're seeing oh. Spade has locked okay. in, getting that knee, closing okay. out that first stock. Is Spade bringing the momentum from first game into the second game? That That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. That is a great question. Charlie really struggling to get through here. Gets the back air. Still not dead. Um, okay, no jump. Never yeah, mind. No, Was no, dead. No jump, yeah. All righty, but you know what, Spade? Still feeling pretty good. Oh, my oh. gosh. The call out and almost able to. Oh. No, we found it. We found it. There it is. Charlie hey. shaking their head. You know, zero to death. I can do it, too. I can do it, too, baby. Spade saying I can come through with it. Look at that, 37 and threatening the downer. I can, I know Charlie was scared for his life. Okay. All right, Spade, oh, okay. good tech in. Yeah, good tech in there. Getting caught by the up airs, though. Great Looking parry. for the fire. Yep, good parry. Got the gate flash coming through. Charlie looking to find something, but just kind of struggling. Spade, though, finally, Charlie able to lock them out. And look at that, the yo-yo. I like the fact that Charlie has slowed down, gone ahead, refound that energy to get the stocks. Great. That's a great continuation of the pressure. And, you know, that was maximum scaling there. Probably the biggest reason why Charlie D is still alive at the moment. Possibly either that or Battlefield. One of the two. Back here, though, does connect. Sends Charlie off stage. Can we get it? No, we can't. Spade unable to find it. And look at that, the side magnet to get the confirm, but no confirm afterwards. And Charlie barely holding on for dear life. 161, we are in some scary ranges for not only dash attack, not only back air, but grab moves like that upbeat. All right, Spade taking game two here. Definitely felt very different to round one here. Uh, I'm wondering on the stage pick here next, whether we'll continue here on Battlefield or perhaps we'll see a different stage pick. And it looks like we're going to Hollow Bastion. Hey, I like the stage pick. And either way, it's gonna be a good game. Spade really been turning it up, but Charlie, just like Spade in game one, started finding their footing once more during game and during the end of game two. So maybe starting to get ready here. Great grab there for Charlie D to start it off, but didn't really get too much from it. All right, he gets the jab, goes ahead, dishes out some more damage. You can see Spade kind of just, you know, trying to keep Charlie D guessing on their options right now. Oh, going for the up throw. Hey, I wouldn't have guessed that, but that does lead to a pretty meaty punish there for Charlie D. Oh, yeah. I, I do feel like Spade is a little bit trigger happy when it comes to the Fal Falcon Dive. It does, you know, do good damage. It can kill at that high percent. It, it just it does surprise me how often we'll see Spade go for it. M Mind it be, it kind of goes into a similar scenario as uh, a character like Samus, for example. Except, yeah. except Samus is much better in terms of that hurt box shifting and not actually giving a hit on the way down. Ooh, look at that grab, too. You know what? Might have a little bit of that hurt box shifting, but Spade able to snatch it up all the same. Got the grab back, though. Not quite going to be it, but still we've seen Spade get a lot of these edge guard kills. Unable to do so this time around. These stocks are not going anywhere this time around. It's been almost two full minutes compared to what felt like rapid fire on them. Finally, though, Spade shutting one out. A great parry there from Charlie D, trying to you know be aggressive and get rid of Spade stock, which makes sense here. You don't want Spade getting any of that extra credit. All right. Spade gets in with that soft hit of the knee, but does not matter. Losing the stock because of the yo-yo. And now, Charlie keeping it nice and even. All right, good Nair once to get the conversion. Charlie, though, starting to fire off. Got Spade maybe locked down at ledge, but yo-yo positioning. Not quite there for the first one. Second one, though, picks it up. 
You know, just throw it out a few times, you know, walk oh, yeah. the dog a little bit. And now, really trying to lock Spade down, but unable to do it. And Spade, once again, whiffing another jab that's really become a little bit of a problem in this game here. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the momentum has kind of been lost to Spade. Spade able to get some of these kind of aerial combos, good way for damage here, especially, you know, for the bonus part, that is how Spade is going to build up these damage because in terms of getting raw hits, it is very hard to get something like that down air and try to confirm it into the knee, which definitely would have been the stock, but getting that, as I've mentioned earlier, on small hurt box characters, very difficult. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. The F tilt. Go ahead and call him out. And Charlie, I love the little stall. That's the classic with Ness, but doesn't matter. Charlie still taking a lot of damage here, but sitting at 154, that has been the big changer in this game. Number three is the survivability of this small little Ness. But that being said, that big head going to take a big foot to the jaw. Right. Right here. Right now, this is the momentum center. This mm -hmm. is game three. It's relatively even in percent as I'm talking. And right now, Spade is an advantage. Has Charlie D on the back foot. Able to call out the get up attack. Able to meet the aerial with the back air. Going for an up smash like that? Spade is just insane. Hungry for that mm -hmm. up smash. Doesn't care whether it is the best option or not. Just don't All let right. it be you. Spade, though, not able to lock Charlie down at that ledge because of the side magnet. And oh, back air on the landing. Charlie reeling in their seat after that one. And now Spade, look at that. They are feeling good after finally getting another game. And now we're into game number four, 2 1. Can Spade seal it out, or is Charlie going to throw a wrench in their plans? Right now, we're looking at Sages here and running it back to Hollow Bastion, saying, you know, not, not an issue with the stage. It works. It works. Now, Charlie, taking a moment. I love that. Go ahead, reset the mental. Take a minute. Realize that, you know what? Game two, game three might have not been mine, but I know if I took game one solidly, I could take game number four. Now, here we go. Do or die moment for Charlie. Can he send it? Spade starting off nice and quick, avoiding a lot of that damage. But you know what? One hit was all Charlie needed for some extra damage. 28% on deck so far. Yeah, great extension there earlier that we saw from Spade. Now we see Charlie kind of throw out of these moves, but not actually getting the extension that Charlie D needs right now. Mm -hmm. You know, Ooh. you want some of these longer form combos. Getting these one twos is not going to help out too much, but leaving from that, pretty huge in this scenario. Absolutely, but 113 is getting into those scary ranges, especially if you're going to take that stomp through the stage. Spade, feeling nice and good, gets the back air, gets the grab, dishing out some nice quick damage, but still gets caught up, getting a little too antsy for some extra damage. And now, Charlie D looking for the side magnet. I love the placement and the movement to go ahead and threaten the hitbox as well, but 80% we talked about long form combos not coming through for Charlie. They are coming through for Spade. Okay, good catch there with the back air. Charlie D setting up with the yo-yo, able to get the back throw. That should be enough. That is the move that has always killed exceptionally early. Ness and Lucas throws. They're powerful. Yes, sir. They yes, sir. Them. But you know what? We might be seeing a stomp here. No, not quite. Spade not able to find it. And now getting caught up. Look at that. The nair to the grab. Beautiful damage. And all the way up to 56. Charlie running circles around them right now. There. Almost finding another one. Finds it right there. And 87%. This has all been made up to even forget that. We got the Spade special. And Spade even laughing at Charlie's frustration. You can tell hey. who's feeling good. I, I think it's kind of funny when you throw out that move quite a bit and it eventually just hits. That's got to be a good feeling. It's got to do something to your brain, too. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, that, it's that reinforcement that has probably led Spade to go for that option so much. And luckily for Charlie D, it's looking a little better here. Able to get that ledge guard. And now we are in a scenario of last talk, low percent. But right now, Charlie D needs to take this round. And you know what? Charlie started to make some damage work. 50% with the Falcon Kick. Aggressive way out of that juggle situation. And now Spade looking to take this neutral into their hands. 
But no, Charlie playing very good, well around Spade's hurt boxes. And look at this, got the jab, able to rack up some percentage, a move that was kind of struggling for Spade in that last game, now making it work again. Okay, great utilization of the drag down up air into the grab. Charlie D looking pretty good here. Trying to catch with a yo-yo. Maybe able to catch it here for the edge. Dude, that came so close. Spade, though, just enough drift back. But now Charlie locked a ledge. Spade gets the grab back throw. This is where they have made their money. Can they do it? No on the down smash. The side back like I, I see, I saw the vision, but Charlie D not able to take the stock there, but gets the yo-yo. We're going to a game five. This is your final top eight qualifier. Loser side, they are gonna fight for it. Charlie popping off a little bit of getting that spade. <laughs> Laughing at this. I don't know if that's a good sign or a joker sign, you know? Huh? Maybe what? it's confidence. Maybe it is yeah. confidence, you know, it's like, like eh, you got that. Yeah, you got four. that one, but we go to you battlefield know, now, so I gotta win. The results. They'll show. They'll show. show. They'll show. Alrighty, but you know what? Either way, it is time to find out who is the last person joining this top eight, Charlie D or Spade. Which one of these two will be fighting off against Jaden, who was able to 3 0 saw step to make it into that other loser's qualifier, make it through that other loser's qualifier? Falcon, Ness, do or die, and you can see it in Charlie's face. Taking that moment, taking that breather, pumping the chest, making sure. You know, taking in good. that Eugene bound power up, right? When you're yep. playing an earthbound character at an earthbound themed event. I want to gotta boost your psyche. I want to know for right? chat real quick. I know Charlie D stuck out his fist. Spade did follow up and give the fist bump, by the way. Right. It looked like he was left hanging in the camera. <laughs> They did you know, give him it. We're, we're just instigators here over in the Pacific Northwest. We want to make it seem like there's more beef. We're a little too kind to each other sometimes. And unlike the PNW, <laughs> I'm here to clear up with the honesty. As a caster, I would never gaslight anybody. Never. Never. All right, he gets the Nair, unable to get that spade special. Could have been big, and look at that. That upbeat, the Raptor boost to go ahead Get the, their hands on this young little boy and just throttle him. All right, gets another one, and it's been so much damage. That move is getting stale, though. Yeah. Okay. Interesting going for that up smash, following up with the Falcon dive. No, still, still may, maintain that control. Oh, and the Ooh. scoop. Beautiful. Sweep the leg. Yes, sir. Just like the ice cream man, go ahead, scoop him up, and get him out of here. Now, 63% on Spade, looking for even more damage on Charlie, though. And oh my gosh, even looking for the grab. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we we're seeing a little okay. footstool there, maybe? Maybe, he came close. Charlie coming through with that dash attack. That multi-hit is so hard to get around. But you know what, Spade? Now, trying to get around Charlie's pressure here and does a good job of it, almost getting that next grab. But instead, Charlie firing off instead. All righty, right. looking for that fair on that shield, unable to pro and poke through it. It's the Nair though, Charlie doing a really good job of placing these straight hits. Yeah, right now we do see Spade, you know, in a scary situation, opting for an unconventional recovery, trying to mix up Charlie D, but Charlie D, seeing right through it, gets the stock, you know, now has to make up that difference. This is game five. You cannot make any more mistakes. There is no more sir, leeway. No, you, sir. Had, you had to make your adaption here and now. That's right. And it is in time to be st dropping stocks to no Falcon Kick. Spade, ready to get this. And Charlie D, are you ready to clutch up? Or are you going to fall like so many competitors before you, Spade? Lighting him up. Look at that. Double the Nair into the up air. We are firing right back. 47% already. This is looking mad scary for Charlie. All right, he got the dash attack. Sets up again for another up air. Nasta, look at that. The charge on the down smash kick. I don't know if Charlie D is oh. going to be able to make it back. Going high with the recovery. Oh my able gosh. to interrupt the up smash. Hold up, Charlie. Still trying to be in it, but it don't matter. The spade special. What better way to end that game? They are moving on to loser side top eight. You better be ready because Falcon is here to stay. And you know what? This ain't a Ness event no more. No, Spade holding it down for Oregon. You know, we need a little bit more representation in that bracket. You know, this is one of our few regionals. Love to see it.
but Charlie D, excellent performance. It was a solid back and forth all the way up to the game five, kept the set exciting. But in the end, in terms of who was able to come out on top, Spade, able to close it out, you know, not just any way, but the up smash way. Yes, sir. Love to see it from Spade, which also means we have our full top eight decided. Eight phenomenal killers in this bracket. We've got one from Utah, one from Canada, a bunch more from not only the PNW, but one more from SoCal. This is going to be amazing as Spade locks that spot in. The only question now is who is gonna win this bracket and take home Eugene Bound 2? All right. Right now, getting prepped. The venue is getting oh ready gosh, for this top mind. eight. All righty, chat. Look, it has been an amazing block. We have enjoyed ourselves, but we gotta say, this top eight is prepped. And so are our next